Hello and welcome to this additional or bonus lecture uh, in this course on excellence in solution design on how can you use augmented reality AR for excellence in solution design. So in this section, new section, we will keep adding more ways and strategies that you can use to build excellence in solution design. And we are starting in this lecture with how to use augmented reality uh, in solution design to create immersive and interactive user experiences. How can you create those solutions that are more immersive and interactive? So any thoughts on how can you use augmented reality in solution design? See, leveraging augmented reality for excellence in solution uh, design involves incorporating this technology strategically to enhance the overall user experience and achieve specific design objectives. The word is strategically, not tactically, not just for the sake of doing it. It has to meet uh, your strategic objectives, including customer. Now, how can you do this? Let's take a look at step-by-step -step guide on how to use AR for excellence in solution design. So the first thing, let's uh, look at leveraging AR. So first thing is to define design objective. And there, what you need to do is to clearly define the defi design objectives and how AR can enhance the user experience. And that's where the strategic fit comes in. And here you would need to work with the senior members of your team, senior stakeholders and say, hey, in this uh, project, how can we, does AR fit in and how does it fit in strategically? Now, this, uh, these objectives could be improving product visualization, providing additional information or creating interactive elements. Uh, a, but what is important is a clear set of understanding of goals is crucial and how these design objective can enhance your solution as per the customer requirements strategically. Then what you need to do is to conduct user research to understand your target audience. Specifically, what you need to do is to identify the preferences, needs and pain points. Now, these information will guide the design process and ensure that the AR features align with the user expectations. So very important. The third thing is to select the right AR technology. There are many technologies that you see here on in display. You have uh, head mounted uh, display, handheld, spatial and others. Input you can give traditional 3D, tangible body, hybrid others. You can do optical uh, tracking. You can do sensor. You can do hybrid tracking. So you need to choose the appropriate technology based on your design objectives. And this could be, as you see, marker-based AR or markerless AR or a combination of both, or it could be any other device that we talked about. So, so you need to select technology that aligns with your solutions requirements. Then you need to use intuitive user, faces, user interfaces, right? So you need to design a intuitive interface uh, uh, an interface for the AR application that is intuitive as well as user-friendly uh, for the application. The, the UI should seamlessly integrate with the physical world, right? Very important. And uh, providing users with such natural, it should provide users with a natural and enjoyable experience. So that's what is involved in intuitive user interface. It's all about designing in such a manner. Uh, contextual information is provided. So use AR to provide contextual information in real time, whether it is displaying a product details while scanning a label offering a navigation assistance in retail environment. This contextual information will enhance the user's understanding of what you are trying to do. Prototype and test. So create prototypes uh, uh, to test AR features and gather user feedback. Now this prototyping will help you uh, identify usability issues early in the design process and allow for refinements before full implementation. So that's the role of prototyping. Integration with physical elements is critical as we saw earlier. Ensure that the AR elements integrate seamlessly with the physical elements. It's like merging two videos. 
The goal is to create a cohesive and immersive experience where digital and physical components complement each other. Optimize for mobile devices because uh, mobile devices are now widely accessible and they will keep increasing. This will allow users to engage with ER features using their smartphones and tablets, which is going to happen more and more now. Uh, explore using AR for marketing and customer engagement. This could involve creating AR based advertisements, interactive packaging, or gamified experiences to uh, enhance the brand interaction. Ex be mindful of the accessibility cons uh, consideration uh, when designing the AR solutions. Ensure that AR features are inclusive and accessible to users with diverse uh, uh, abilities, right? So thank you so much for watching this uh, new additional uh, uh, lecture on using AR for excellence in solution design. I hope you have enjoyed uh, listening to this uh, video, looking at this video, you have learned something new and I do look forward to see you somewhere else sometime, either in this course or any other course of mine. Please do message me if you have any questions uh, and so that I can return, revert to you. If you like to take a look at anything more in detail on this lecture that we have talked about, please do download the PDF file and take a look at it at your leisure.